All right, there we go. Just so I don't have to cut anything after. I can be lazy on the upload. Okay, oh, let me change my... Alright, let's, uh, there we go. I zoomed out really far. Lost myself. Here we are. Boom, 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 boom. Our previous on Survivor. <laughs> That's really all that music reminds me of Survivor. Video disabled by me. What? what? Oh, I was like, I didn't disable Mar's video, but apparently your video was disabled, what I do? Mar. No, mm -hmm. I, it said I disabled your video, and I was like, okay, sure. How dare you? I know. I deliberately chose it too. I was like, this one? Nope. No video. Dun, 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 dun. Mars got your uh, your next D and D map in the background there. Oh, looks like my tapestry. That's awesome. Thanks. Hi, Chloe. Tell her I said hi. She's like, whatever, man. Whatever. She's like, mm. <laughs> whatever. Just giving, just giving the dogs cheese. <laughs> yep. Nailed it. All right. I can't hit that music's low for me. I gotta turn it up. Somebody's gonna tell me later on. They're gonna be like, I can't hear the music. <laughs> okay, I turned it up to like 50. What? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Where the Cheetos? Like, bro. Alright, you guys yeah. ready to roll? Yes. Ready. Excellent. Well, battle. You know, we're still in the heat of battle. And if I'm not mistaken, we're at the top of the rotation. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was me. <laughs> um, no, me first. Then you. What? Get out of here. <laughs> well, let's, let's try this. Well, I guess to recap, you did notice previously on the last turn that the giants were like, F were, this. we're out of here. Just like, no, we're leaving. They said some words, you don't understand it, and they were like, started moving away. Some slurs, I heard them, yes. <laughs> Just don't understand it. Though. Arugula understood it. Yeah. Yeah, Arugula does. I believe I'm still. You can believe you're still a bear all you want, it's fine. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I left off in bear form. Okay. Okay. I think you came out of bear form. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, you took some hits and you said, yeah, I'm not in went bear back form anymore. It. Oh, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, we left. I was in bear form again. Fair enough. All right. So this little magman approaches you. Who's you? Jovi. Okay. Got it. And Chovy does an 18 hit. Yes. So, as a result of this little magnet, he just hobbles over and just smacks you with this fiery little fish. Little. What was it again? How was it? Okay. Oh, wait. More, more accurately. More He's light. like, eh, fire. Eh. A little tap. Well, 75 points of damage. Man. There you go. 75 damage. El 11 fire damage. Okay. More realistic, I guess. If that's how you want to play it. 
Yeah. And much to your surprise, Joby, you start to ignite similar to Orin. Oh, fuck. Sweet. You guys are on fire a lot. <laughs> yes, but this wasn't self-inflicted. True that. True that. Very, very. All right. Let's see what else we got. What else? What else? My HP at. Okay. It's looking good. All right. That's all I care about. HP. Does does a 17 hit, Weaver? Uh, yeah. So, like, around... Like, like a real 17? Yeah, a real 17. Okay, okay. And kind of... <laughs> from, from between the this building here, this tower to your left... I'm zoomed in on and, it. And then the Chocobo fake bird uh -huh, here. Uh-huh. A little magman sneaks up underneath and just sort of, like, tickles you. Oh. On my knee, fingers. apparently. On my knee. Yeah, I'm just like. Yeah, okay, okay, tap. okay. Oh, all right. Hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second there. Sorry, this now someone just followed in the stream, so I gotta. I'll get them. You can keep doing what you're doing. You tell me how much damage it is. You take six fire damage. Welcome, Stella Love, and the you newest master in the council of the universe. That you're suddenly engulfed Welcome. in flames. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure, sure. I feel sure, like sure, you sure, shouldn't sure, have sure. to tell us that we notice we're engulfed in flames. Like, <laughs> sure, sure, just, sure, sure. like you are uh, engulfed how, in flames. How many flame. points of damage? I'm sorry. Or, and, or six, nothing. Oh, six. six fire damage. Okay. And you are now on fire. Thank okay, you. sure. Better. Okay. No, I didn't notice that I was engulfed okay. in flames. Okay. <laughs> have, you, have you met Draco? Then, well, him, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, him, maybe, yeah. Like she said, him, maybe. Maybe, maybe you tell him what's going on, but everybody else, you know, you should just say it's apparent to you. <laughs> it's become apparent to you that you are. You're aware on fire. that you're engulfed in flames. You feel some heat on your knee. You feel some fire. That's some. That's some crazy fire, to be honest, right? Yeah, it kind of is. And he's like touching me on my leg, and then all of a sudden I'm engulfed in flames when I'm yeah, not wearing like much of cloth. Yeah, you 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 start anything that is on you is on fire. So it will work uh, its way through. Oh, okay. Um, Arugula is almost attacked by one, but she dodges the attack. The other okay. handful, I guess, Jovi and Arugula, can see that they're now a bit surrounded. Oh, bit surrounded. Okay. Um, yeah. Nobody else attacks though, and it is Weevo's turn. Hmm. Hmm. Good. That's good. I like that. It's nice. All right. Um, let's see. So we've got one. Let's see. Let me let me zoom out for a second. I just want to see what do we got. Okay. Anything else sneaking around? Because I saw that little man down there. I just wanted to make sure that nothing crazy was <laughs> happening. Okay. So, um, yeah. We got one, two, three. It's the most tactical approach here. Just hit stuff. I think that's the most tactical approach we have. Just hit stuff. Um, also, let me close my game here. Bam. Did the music get lower? Like, what? Get your shit together. Bro. Yeah, the music did get lower. Bro, you just lowered the music after I boosted it? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I gotta bring it up now? Okay. Jeez. Alright. So, uh, alright, I'm gonna... This bird guy right here. But I don't, I, I don't recall. Based on my perception, can I see is he, if, if we've hit him yet? Oh, he's still clean. Nothing's wrong with him. This little bird thing. This this bird guy here? Yeah, the, the bird. The yeah, chocobo. the chocobo looks a little bit healthy. It looks healthy? It does. Okay. Um, sweet. So let's take a swing at this guy. Normal swing. Uh sorry. No non feeded swing. Reckless attack on it. Okay. Great now. axe gonna Okay. Alright, now no, no, go ahead. I'm waiting. As 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 you ready your swing. Uh huh. Orin is overcome with obligation. There's no way he's just gonna let you attack this bird in front of him. Oh. He has okay. a deep a deep love okay. for creatures. So you'll have to roll with disadvantage, and I think it cancels out your advantage. I'm sorry. So you roll with disadvantage as Orin is now interfering in your attack. How, how is he doing that exactly? 
his he's love using for the his, bird. He's using his little one-handed axe, and he's gonna just, just kind of, you know, Try to block. nudge, nudge the bud of yours so that you kind of your swing isn't really as tactical and balanced as it would be. I know you can see me looking at you right now. Yeah. With, with the knowledge that a four-foot person is going to stop me from swinging an axe over my head. He's not going to stop you. He's just going to make it a little more difficult. Okay, so do you, ha you have his character sheet right now? <laughs> wait, wait. What if, what if, instead of doing it that way, he comes up behind Weaver and pokes him in the back of the knee. So as he's swinging, he's like, Hugh. There we go. So yeah. Aaron, Warren, excuse me. <laughs> Just, 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 just a little one of those little poker in the butts right there as you're getting ready to swing. It's a little rude shocker that you don't expect. Hmm. He is tall enough to do that. And he's doing this on my turn. Yeah, he's, he's using up his reaction to nudge at it. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever we got to say. All right. I'm going to... I'll roll anyways. I rolled 21. So... That, that, it, that hit. So, yeah, I figured it hit anyways. I, I'm blessed, so I can roll another <laughs> four if you want. It's cool. No big deal. All right. Uh, where's my damage swing? Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Okay. Mm-hmm. One, two, two, three, three, four, and two. Yeah, that's correct. That did not roll. Okay. There you go. It's like doing some mega calculations. Uh, so six, it says. Let me see. Two, uh, oh, eight. Sorry, eight. Because I get plus two for rage. All right. Okay. Eight damage. On okay. The um, I guess I'm gonna hit it again because uh, why not? So I'll use my second swing. I'm gonna hit the bird again so Orin can be even madder at me. You are unobstructed by Orin at this point. Oh, he's not He's not gonna throw his arm in again? He doesn't no, want no he more? <laughs> he doesn't want no more? That's all right. He all right. can't. Oh, he can't. All right. Um, well, you know what? That's fine. Let's roll again. Let's see what we get. Okay, we roll 23. I assume yeah, that is. hits. Okay. Let's assume. Uh, da, da, da. Good. And damage. I roll an 8 again. Good damage, good damage. The don't, don't, don't mock me, Raul. <laughs> it is good damage. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, woo, wasn't a 35 this turn. Okay, okay. Yeah, pretty much. It, yeah. lo it looks a little it, injured. It looks extremely injured. It's bleeding. It lets out a painful cry. What does it sound like? And then I'm like, Rawr! and then Orin's yeah. crying. And yeah, and Orin's crying on the side. So it's not down yet, it, correct? It is not down, but you do actually, in fact, hear behind you, Orin let, does let out a wail, and it almost sounds like he fell over, but you know, you quickly look back and see he's just on his knees on the ground. Okay, it doesn't matter Probably to me. Different. No, it doesn't matter it's to me. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. I'm doing what has to be done. Yeah. That's it. That's how I see it. Doing what has to be done. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take my last swing because I'm in frenzy on this Damn. bird to try and put it to sleep. Reckless in it again. Okay. What is that? That's a. Uh, I, oh my God. The numbers keep jumping around. So 10, 1d4. Let's see. Okay, it would be a 13 on the first one, and let's see, uh, flat 19 on the next one. So yeah, the 19. Hits. I assume the 19 hits. Okay. 
And we'll roll damage again. And kill this bird in front of Orn. 15. I, I want to I hear how you kill this bird, though. Okay. So, because I can hear him crying behind me, when I, when I do my final slash across, I make eye contact. Then I turn, and when I spin and chop this thing's heads off, I spin, and I, I look like I'm a dancer, and I spot on the wall, and I'm like... <laughs> there we go. And chop this thing's head off. And hopefully it flies off and lands on Orn. The head rude. goes flying. There we go. It doesn't actually hit Orn because he's about a foot off the ground at this point. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it does, it does roll and lands over here, kind of by Arugula and Jovi. Got it. Okay. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I got that. Eh, eh, eh. No, okay. That should be my last turn. Uh, so this guy is technically in attack range of me, right? Because you said he poked me yes, before. Yes, that is that is an attack range. For you. Okay. Uh, no, I guess that's. I guess I'll just end my turn there. And I got nerf. Uh, let me see. Actually, one, two. That's five radius. One, two. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, then I have Narth. So, uh, Narth's gonna move himself over here. He's like, ha-ha, now's my chance. And he runs up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, tell him to take advantage. There you go. Okay. Uh, what? Continue. I, I am continuing. <laughs> Thank you very much for your permission. Um, let me pull up his little character sheet here. Move this thing. Uh, what do we got? Anyways, let's see if it hits. And then we'll worry about his damage. I'm well, gonna shoot. Who are you going after? I'm gonna first? I'm gonna shoot my little crossbow that I have at this imp over here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Unobstructed shoot. shot. Yeah, shoot my little crossbow at the imp. Um, I think I think I have to just move up one more step so it's clean. Uh, one d twenty. What's the plus? Uh, four. Okay. A twenty. Yeah, that hits. All right, sweet, big damage. That's with a, a crossbow. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, and then hit five. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I was. I'm looking at something. Uh. So on this character sheet, when it says hit five. And then it says 1d6 plus 2 piercing damage. Mm -hmm. So basically, you can roll it 1d6 plus 2, or you can take the average, which is 5. Uh, okay. You. I was just like, what the hell is that? No, it's fine. I'll roll it. Who, who doesn't roll? Come on, why would you take? No, it's all right. You'd be surprised. Yeah, let's go for it. Three. That's why people don't roll. Nah. <laughs> Wait, that takes the fun out of it. That takes the fun out of it. You got to roll it. You got to roll it. So three damage, just a little, like I shot him with a toothpick and not a real arrow or something. Yeah, it's almost like you 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 happen to be observing this move, this action, and you notice the arrow disintegrates almost as it approaches this little. Game. Sweet, sweet. I like that. It does That's damage, cool. but it doesn't look very good. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, all right, and then I'm gonna dash back after that because that's what I do. Dash back over here and snicker to myself, and then uh, that ends the turn. All right, <laughs> Orin is up next, so he is over, crying. like he's, completely overwhelmed. He's, he's, crying. He's, he's crying. He's on the floor. He's crying. Okay, he's, that's what he does. Yep. He's the birds. Yelling. Yeah. He's, he's yelling names like Falchion. And Valjean and the boys. Yeah, Valjean and the boys. I miss my centaur. This all those nonsensical all those stuff. Yep. That Zan! Zan. He's just crying, <laughs> and he doesn't. He doesn't really do much. Calvin, you're a horrible smithy. Yes, he is, he is uh, an horror. Yep. Galrin is <laughs> sitting down, actually. Uh, celebrating his victory he has slayed the giant is, is that's exactly what he's going to tell people from now on go and get the hell in here 
So he's just he's just chilling over here in the camp. And so we'll go to Jovi now. Oh, sweet. Oh boy. Oh, our, oh sorry. Oh, bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it's a lot of dirt over there. There were giants digging. It's crazy. They had giant shovels. Yes. Or are they using they like regular with their person? Swords. Regular they're person shovels. Using their swords. Oh, using their swords to dig. Wow. That's why, very, why do I know that and you don't? That's very primitive. Okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna smack this bitch that let me on fire. Oh. Okay. The 16 hit. Oh, that hit. Hey. Okay. And then. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Um, so that's going to be 10 damage. Critical damage. How do you kill this Critical. thing? Critical. <sighs> just swipe the fuck out of it. Just yep. already. Just like that. So, uh,. You swipe it, and it just almost vanishes, but not before. So let's see here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I literally just looked up at Draco's token. <laughs> I was like, it looks. You look at all the art styles, and then you look at that, and you're like, huh, huh, huh. Oh man. Uh let's let's uh for anybody in chat. For anybody in chat who can't see it, I'm gonna zoom in on it. I'm gonna rewind for a second. Sorry, I forgot. At the end of Weaver's turn. At the end of my yeah, turn. You yeah, you take two fire damage from the flames that are Uh huh. Yeah, sort yep. of you know, yep. Yep. you up. Yep. All right, Got so uh, Jovi, you swipe at this little imp, little magman, and critical damage. It blows up. So you and Arugula, you guys, uh, can y'all do a dexterity save, please? Okay, well, we got a 20 and a 10. I should actually look up what her number is. Um, load, load. There we go. Uh, her dex is a plus one, so 11. Okay. Yeah. And what was, you got a 20 and she got a, an, an 11? Yeah. All right, cool. So, this little nice. dude explodes. And all right, so four fire damage to Arugula and four fire damage to you. The as well as everything else within ten feet, including its little friends. Nice. The fact that you've now gone to calling her Arugula is amazing. It's just so much better because honestly, if I try saying her name, then I start thinking of the dude from Wow with Aragal or Arugal. Uh huh. Yeah, Aragal. Oh, Shadowfang it. Keep. Yeah, Shadowfang Keep, dude. So yeah. I just say Arugula yeah. for everything. I just like <laughs> Arugula across the board. It's a good so, name. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. So that, that little dude's gone. That dude is gone. All right. Does that in your turn? That is not in my turn. She's like, shut up! I got more hits! Yeah, so I stop, drop, and roll into this space. And All then right. <laughs> uh, take an attack on this dude. Um, that would be a plus five to hit. So 19! What a 19 hit. A 19 does hit. Okay. He's like, let me check my sheet real quick. Make sure it hits. There's like 18 of these. I memorized it. And the four is 12 
slashing damage. Oh yeah. 12 slashing damage. Another little imp completely destroyed. There you go. There you go. Can we get another dexterity save for um, you and Arugula? Please? Uh, so we've got a 15 and... So chat, we've gotten him to now say Arugula instead of Ergola or Ergala every time. This is this is awesome. 15 and a 14. This is what happens. Ergala. All right. Three damage to both of you. Fire damage. We just have Arugula across the board. As you kill them. All right. Now Arugula is taken over. All right. At the end of your turn, you take five fire damage from the flames that are engulfed. I stopped, dropped, and rolled. I didn't douse them. It looked really cool, but the flames continue to burn. Stop, drop, and roll. I'm a bear. I I I rolled real good. I heard you say it. (laughs) I heard heard you say it. Yeah, the, you did, and it just doesn't. It doesn't really have enough. What's the? What's? It's just that not enough like, wetness on the ground to help put the flames out. All you need is dirt. Enough of it, yes. Okay, are we gonna have an argument here? To... I mean, you the didn't use a turn. You didn't use a turn to a do it. I'm gonna find a bear on fire, and we're gonna talk about. You this. didn't. You also didn't okay. use an action to do it, so like. All right, bonus action. No, Stop, like, drop, and roll. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, it, it was like a casual movement thing, so. It was, it was but it was all my movement. Um, okay, so Arugula. Uh, she's going to do... Let's see, first she can do... She's going to do a ranged attack on this guy with her short bow. Let's see. On that guy. She do plus three to hit, so seventeen. That hit. Okay, and then oh shit, uh, six plus one, so seven damage. All right, seven damage. Okay. Good amount of damage, but the little imp remains standing. Okay. Well, and then she's going to turn to this fucker and use her morning star and a uh eighteen to hit. All right, eighteen okay. hits. Let's find the right. I imagine hitting those things with a morning star is like hitting a balloon. Pretty much. <laughs> so nine damage. What pan? Nine damage. Do I need to? Do, do I need to Google go. search? Bear on fire. Do it, Mav. Do it, Mav. So can I get a deck savings throw from Arula? Yeah. Oh, uh, and from Dars, please. Yep. Yeah, Dars. Eighteen for. Arugula. She takes three fire damage. What? What? Sorry, I'm getting. No, you're, you're so good. Just, you're good. Just to confirm, did you use a bonus action to drop, stop, drop, and roll? Yes. Okay, so you put your you you gassed your flames Thank as you, you rolled around on the ground. I'm doing this. Doing the bare necessities. It's just on the ground, rolling around. Like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Mav's Dars got it. Actually, Dars looks like he would be like the lead singer in a freaking like Norwegian death metal band. Yes, he does. He, he has a name pretty- for it. He's pretty emo, right? Yeah, if you look at it, well, you know his bio. He's a really emo yeah. person. <laughs> so, and he's from Waterdeep. Mhm. 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 
I'm gonna say he saves his throw. There you go. Archer is breathing so hard right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you put that in chat there yet, but my bad. Yeah, that's gonna be two. That's cool. I'll take no, it. He, oh, he, <laughs> takes, he takes five fire damage. Five fire damage. I'll take it. No, that's fine. It's cool. Yeah, no takesy backsies. <laughs> you said that was the end of the turn? Uh, yeah, the end it, of, of, uh, of Rugo's, Rugo's turn. turn yeah, it is Yepo's turn now. Oh boy, what did you what did you put okay. in chat? Let's see. So, from what <laughs> no, I understand, no. <laughs> sorry. Oh, interesting. Is, are the only things left in combat these three, three little guys? Uh, yeah, that's all. That's all you can see right now. The giants have moved on. And everybody else has been slain. Such a horrible response. Yep, that's all you can see right now. <laughs> that's all you can see. Just giant dirt areas and nothing else. Can't see anything. If that's the case, I am going to use prayer of healing. Tina, Tina's got an iPad right now with all her spells 2D8. in it. 2d8. <laughs> That's right. 2d8. Who's, who's getting the heal? Um, it's going to be myself, Oren, basically the the entire group, minus Dick Draco. <laughs> and Rugula. Bear on, bear on well, fire. Well, I mean, Draco's so far away. And like, Interesting. Yeah. No, the bear on fire, yeah, absolutely needs to be healed. Or All right, so we're two D eight. Two D eight. Let's go. Let's go. Big heels. Two D eight plus my wisdom, plus, which is five. Five. Nine. 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 Yeah. Oh, Woo. Wait. I'll everybody take... gets that plus five. Um. So it's going That's... to be Oren, uh, Weaver. Right. Right. Everybody that heals Jovi. gets that plus five. Yes. That's right. Yes. It's a the modifier. Oh. Yeah. Let the let the record show I rolled pretty high for Orin, so he's getting sixteen back. Oh, sweet, nice. Oh, I thought that we got whatever she rolled. Yeah, that's what that's what I do. Yeah. Oh yeah, my no, God. yeah. Back oh, I up. thought he had like a spell or something that no, allowed him no. to like, you know. No, I like your roll much better. Nice. There you go. Of course you do DM. There you go. Thank you, everybody, for the integrity. And then I'm going to use my bonus action with my um, spiritual weapon uh, that's out. She's a bear. She's on fire. How did her fantasy? Well, on the highway. <laughs> Move open the, here. The, and the then bear is no guy. longer on fire. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> a chance pop in the night. Sweet. If 19 hits, then. Oh, yeah. Wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see. This is a level 3 spell. It's a level 2. 9. Hit it for 9. Hit that one for 9. Great hit. Can I get a dexterity savings throw from Shogu and Arugula? Already knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tina, are you on your phone on Discord? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. <sighs> what? What happens if you turn it landscape? It won't work. We go sideways. We go sideways. Oh, that's crazy. That that doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, you don't. I mean, I was just I was just asking. Um. So that's a <laughs> sit deck, right? So that's a fourteen for me and an eight for Arugula. All right. So Arugula takes seven fire damage. And Jovi takes three or four. Hmm. Lots of lots of fire going on. Yep. Draco might have something up his sleeve. <laughs> yeah, I bet. More fire. Fight fire with fire, they said at <laughs> wizard school. <laughs> hey lady. <laughs> Alright, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move Dars. Oh yes, does here. <laughs> these are these are five foot square, so you could move further if you needed to. Sorcerer chat, okay. sorcerer. Well, Less spells. I'm just gonna use 
Who's that? Oh, what's up? To hit this guy. What's up? I'm gonna go with the sling on that. Actually, yes. Can I can I retarget? These are five, you said? Yeah, these are all five. Range so 30 they're... to 20 to 120. Okay. So can I hit this guy? The further one? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. And so that hit. So what a sling sounds like. I know, there's just no sling sound available. <laughs> and how much damage does he do? Uh, six plus four, so ten. Ten. Some critical damage out there. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> hey, all, do all these things have the same HP? Yeah. Is it ten? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not 10, because I, I saw one of them take more than 10. So, I'm just asking. So, it's nobody, 11. <laughs> nobody takes damage. Uh, okay, right, so, my yeah. yeah. Draco is confused. He's confused. <laughs> I mean, he's he's nowhere near the battle, so I assume he has no idea. Right. He, he continues to walk away from the battle. <laughs> Anybody, anybody know where the lizard's going? What's going on? It's a salamander. <laughs> just like I'm, I'm hungry. He's leaving. Just, I, I call. Wait, hold on. I call his XP. Okay, I call his XP. <laughs> just saying, you run from battle. You don't need it. I get his XP. D Dorothra does not. Shy away from battle, she does move in to attack this the lady. Character. The lady goes for it. The lady, yeah. your grace. <laughs> That's your grace. Be careful, your grace. <laughs> That's your grace. You'll be on fire. Ooh, ooh. Uh, boy, yeah, she does a really good job um, at just swinging her, her blade. <laughs> I'm a little imp, unfortunately. Takes some critical damage. Unfortunately. Fortunately for y'all, so just dexterity saving stuff. And Weaver and uh, Orin, I'll roll for him. Uh, let me see. Did it roll again? What did I get? Full times, so what did I get? 22 and 12. 22. I have advantage now. Oh, I so crit on that four, one. Let's go. Four. Four fire damage for you, Weaver. Four fire damage for Orin. You're a terrible person. Natural 20. You're a terrible person. That's a savings. Natural 20! Doesn't matter what you do. You, you succeed very well. <laughs> Four damage. Such a fucking dick. Four damage. <laughs> terrible person. I love you. You succeed super good. <laughs> This is this is this is the running down the wall thing all over again. I mean, it's really just like oh, here's the target, God. and then you you over overshot it. Congrats on meeting the goal. It's like I should be able to stand there, and the explosion just goes around me. That's not how saving throws work. But it is. Huzzah! Da, 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 Everyone stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> right? Uh, actually. Oh, we're still on. Uh, okay. Now um, you don't see anything, but. You, you can make your grand entrance into the center. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's going on? Well, I hope you mean my grand entrance is uh, you guys just see a wolf approaching. <gasps> you can't see me because oh. I'm, how do I, I'm hiding, I'm hiding behind my wolf is. More things to kill. Story. Guys, ready up. 
A wolf no, approaches. Don't kill, my, don't kill my wolf. They got uh, reinforcements. Okay. So I, I approach and I kind of look around. Um, I'm assuming I can see them all now looking at me. Yes, everybody's looking at you. Everybody that's on this side of the tower. So, Okay, orange. so you see a, a wolf approach and then from the wolf, just a little halfling who's two foot nine, uh, no, two foot 11 inches popping out. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, hear, you hear a belligerent voice behind this crowd. What's going on? I can't see. What's happening? <laughs> As Orin desperately tries He's to like, find it. Your yeah. Grace! What's there? Your Grace! <laughs> Your Grace! Your Grace! Your Grace! What, what is um, it? I sort of... I just keep stepping in front of him. <laughs> um, I sort of, like, stumble over my words and, like, uh, say, ask them, uh, did, did you guys see the giants? The normal-sized people? <laughs> No, the extra tall people. <laughs> like, like my size, or like? No, they were even bigger. They were giants. I know what giants are. Uh, I know I'm small, you? but I know what giants are. Do you? I'm bigger form, so I have language again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at a battle now. <laughs> like, hi. Yes, there were giants here. Oh, awesome. I um, I overheard their conversation. Sweet, you're going to do the talking. All right, I'll go over here. <laughs> you speak giant? <laughs> I do. Huh. So does Arugula. Uh, Arugula steps in and she's like, wow, I do too. What's your name? Why does that? That's not her voice. <laughs> I forgot her voice. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peony Weatherby, and this is my wolf, Copper Howlwag. Can I pet him? Can I pet him? Um, <laughs> let me pet the wolf. <laughs> Just be careful. Does Just he be drink careful. beer? She... No. Does she drink beer? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Orin's very Orin. excited. He doesn't see Orin many people smaller than him. <laughs> That's very true, especially those with animals. Oh, this is going to be he? great. I just realized <laughs> like this is going to be great. Tall. Four feet. <laughs> You're a halfling with an animal. We're going to have to keep Warren. <laughs> He's like, I, I can get things for you off the shelves. You're his soulmate. Somebody, somebody get a fedora for Warren because he's going to be tipping that fedora. Oh, boy. My lady. <laughs> he's like, let me get that for you. He just steps let in front, get that opening all the doors. <laughs> he doesn't. Get a, he doesn't run them down. Him he doesn't run them down. He's too big with all of his yeah. shields and kegs. He's like trying oh, to hold boy. it open. It's like this is. This is <laughs> it's gonna be something. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, ignoring him. Um. Which you should do. What did What did you overhear the giant say? Uh. They said they were gonna come back. They said that there was too much, uh, there were too many people here. They were overpowered. Uh, they're going to come back, though. Wait, so you just been here listening the whole time or killing all this stuff? I was walking. Her legs are I'm short. So tiny. It takes her a long time to get places. Also, I didn't know who you were, and I thought I would watch and see if I wanted to talk to you. That's fair. Wow. Got another so one of these. We got we got another one of these. <laughs> D Dorothy in her in her Jackson, she says, "Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt. I I appreciate the help. I have matters to discuss with everybody. Is now a good time?" Arugula says, "I have things to discuss too." And Narth says, well, me too. And suddenly it's a chorus of, me too, I have things to say. Where the hell are your 12 guards that you had? What the hell were they fighting while we were fighting everything? She, she nods. She looks at you. She's like, that's precisely what I want to talk about, you see. I'd sent them out, like I told you. <clears throat> this is a completely unexpected 
typically we would have been warned. This is this is we're we're, we're tribor. We're protected. Like we we have an organization that can keep an eye out. There's no warning. We're sitting here having a nice time, and then we're attacked by fire giants. It doesn't make any sense. I have a request. And you all another one? Yourself to be very helpful. Yes, another one. Is, is it okay if I make my request? Yeah. I thought Assumed you, you would continue. She reaches into her little satchel. She pulls out a platinum badge. <sighs> she like shows it around, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like some weird, like, look at this, everybody. <laughs> okay. She says, This is the insignia of Tribor. And it literally has three boars charging forward. Tribor. She says, I urge everybody here to travel east along the Evermore Way. I need you to visit a friend of mine, Danivar. He has a house out there in Everlund. You give this badge to Danivar, and he will know what to do. Wipe his butt with it. Um, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll hold on to that badge. She hands it to you. Do I have your word that you will do this? Um, do they have our word, guys? We're just doing stuff for free? What, what's going on? What is this? Do we need to talk about this? We're just, we're just doing all this stuff for free? We just save the town for, for nothing? Well, what, what would you like, Weaver? I mean, something. No, we, we walked over here, helped this lady, and now she's asking for more help. We're just doing all the good Samaritans now. Just... Draco comes <laughs> and right as he, right at, Draco walks into the spring. He's, he overhears this and he says, I'll do it for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Very appropriate. Hey, lady. She says, no. Hey, lady. Uh, I'll do it for a horse. I'll do it for a horse. No. So what is it that you exactly want us to do with this emblem? This thing? Like, what's the end game? Right. Well, like I said, it is very odd that a pair of fire giants would make its way this far into the Disarm Valley. I have no warning. Shabarovitz. No, not even well, a, 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 a hint. This is, this is not normal. I want to make sure that the gravity of this situation is understood. And what I need you to do is I need you to visit Everland. And I want you to go to Danivar's house, present this batch, and they will know exactly what to do. Okay, but are like cool. I'm glad they'll know. But what's actually going on? Like, are we warning them? Are we like, hey, why didn't we get a warning? Like, what's up? This is the biggest explanation ever, you guys. I don't know. That's a, that's a great question. Oh, sweet really your axes. I really do need to understand why we didn't get a warning, but more importantly, we're going to need their help. This is this is not normal. This is pretty terrifying. So, are we going there to gain like reinforces? Is, is that what and reinforcements? Is that what this is? Uh, specifically, you're going to Danivar's house and. Danivar is probably going to ask you to speak with his friend, Drawl. Um, he's, he's like one-eyed half-orc. He owns the place. What will Drawl do? I don't know. This this badge is essentially my get-out-of-jail-free card. I was told if I ever needed anything, I should basically present this. Mm. And so why can't you do it yourself? I have a town to protect. We were just attacked by giants. And I'm sorry, Peony was your name? Peony, yeah. Yeah, your friend. I assume your friends. You guys are very friendly people. They're going to come back. She, she, They're going to get reinforcements. Arugula also, right? Said that they were going to come back. Arugula nods. All right, uh. so I'm no longer as suspicious of the plan. I kind of get <laughs> it. So and I'm agreeing. Of everyone. 
a little <laughs> bit, yeah. Um, okay. Why are we doing what we're doing? Like, mm -hmm. all right. So. So you take you take the insignia. Yeah, I take it, but I'm, I'm say to like my crew here, like, all right, guys. Like, they're not offering us any money or anything for this. But the fact that giants are just moving around, digging up people's lands and like lighting us on fire seems like it's an everybody problem. Draco so, says, I didn't light anybody on fire. No, you just hit them with lightning. And by them, I mean me. So you shut the fuck up. So. Draco kind of does not. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. Yepo, you seem like you're down to help. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oren. Hold on. Well, hold on. Peony. Yes? Will you be joining us? I would love to. Oren, really the like wolf giants, is coming. So... <laughs> Oren's in. Oren is in, like, this complete trance. He's, like, rolling on his back and playing you... with the wolf. <sighs> he will go where the wolf goes. Uh, Weva, we're gonna go see another half orc. That's racist, yo. No, it's racial awareness. No, no that's racist, yo. No, because racism. Think... We're talking about oppression. It's not oppression to acknowledge no. someone's race. No, you, you're trying to you're trying to get me to see somebody. Like I'm gonna go just cause that. That's well, you're terrible. probably gonna get to hit things, which. I think you might like to do based on the small little interaction that I've had with you. See, see that? See that? This she's, lady she's knows. A, this lady she's knows. Got you figured out. This lady <laughs> knows. Jeez. You gotta say right, more fine. stuff like that. Okay. You get to hit, hit things. I'm sure you'll kill something. <laughs> Dar is, is sort of just standing back, nodding the entire time. And he says, Am I hearing correctly that money? Is a motivator for this group of people? Uh, for Sometimes. yeah, it's not a not motivator. Or sweet weapons. I don't got nothing to do. <laughs> don't wait until you're all So he, he kind of nods and he's like, Well, I was recently visited by an old acquaintance. He's a, a merchant from a town called Mirabar. You might have heard of it. I'm sure you all are well traveled. Uh, he had a really interesting tale to tell. He happened upon a dwarf that was cleaning some stables. Um, the stables were in a keep called Santharls. It's a village. It's up on the long road. Again, I'm sure you all have heard of it. I don't mean to bore you. But he recognized this dwarf. He had seen a wanted poster while traveling south through Long Saddle. And he swore that this is the exact dwarf that was wanted. The reward was 5,000 gold pieces. He's what so is he far. wanted for? I don't know what he was wanted for. I thought about going after him myself, but I'm too old for such things. It's not this dwarf right here? Kind of looks at him up and he's like, no, no. <laughs> okay. Lucky. No, no, Lucky. Not, no, not, not that one. Easiest money of my life. <laughs> I don't have much to offer. Obviously, our campground's been completely dug up. But as a thank you, and I'll give you this information. Maybe you and the rest of you can go and capture this door and claim the reward for yourselves. I mean, how hard could it be to capture a dwarf? We got it. Sure. Why not? I don't know. It could just run between your legs and get out. He has killed people before. So then, mm -hmm. that would downplay this dwarf's ability. He's killed people. Were they sleeping? Right. <laughs> he says, that's a great question. I don't know. I assume, you know. To get a kill shot on someone, they'd have to either be sleeping or on the toilet, so. I don't know, if you, like, cut someone's Achilles heel and they can't run away and... Or some of us are just smaller. 
Yeah, we didn't say what size people. He's just going around killing halflings. <laughs> halflings are people too. <laughs> just saying. Uh, do you have like a? Is there like a wanted poster or anything about this guy? Because I mean, otherwise we're just gonna go like kill random dwarfs for money, and that's probably not a great <laughs> idea. You know, he didn't actually bring uh, a wanted poster, um, but he he did confirm that he saw this door. I can maybe uh, let you know where he's at on your map. If you agree to do it, we can I'll just, you know, you guys have a map, right? Y'all have a map. Say, this is to, where's this reward? Where's this reward coming from? Yeah, what are we turning that, about? Yeah, so the, the, the authorities in Mirabar are the, the ones that have put this bounty out. They will pay. So this is an official bounty. Uh, dead or alive, or oh. um, hold on, I'm sorry. Is is this you as a DM saying this? No, this is still Dari saying that. Okay. So no wanted poster, but we have to take your word for us killing a guy. Oh, I know. No, no. Shush. Dead or alive, or do they want him alive? Uh, I believe they seek him alive. All right. Do you He's... know where we can find a wanted poster? Uh, I'm sure you can find it all along any town on, you know, he's in Santharl's Keep. That's what my acquaintance said. I imagine potentially on the long road, you might see some posters. Yeah, if you'll mark the map, we'd appreciate it. And uh, if it works out, we'll uh, make a detour. Yeah, of course. Thank you for helping save our town. And he kind of does a weird, awkward bow because he's old. <laughs> Like, <clears throat> so uh, I, I have a question about all of these people surviving. Like, are they done with us? Or are we done with them? Are they no longer things that we control? Our, our buddies. What, uh, so yeah, everybody's just standing around and people are kind of talking. But like, are are they gonna like go with us or just stay in here? No, yeah, these these are townsfolk. They're they're gonna stay here, but they they're all eager to to speak. So did, does that mean that we completed the mission of keeping them alive and getting our special thing? Do you not want to? That's tell what them? I heard. That's what I heard. You promised something. I heard. I heard there were there were uh, special rewards for keeping each person alive. <laughs> is that, that what is, this is? That is correct. So far, you've received two special rewards from two of the survivors, Dars and Doroth. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> Nar- Sup, Arugula? How's it going? <laughs> Got any special rewards or quests to share? Arugula says, wow, I haven't felt the adventure like this in a long time. Felt it in her loins. <laughs> hey, don't talk about Arugula like that. She's my girl. Apparently like every me. person is your girl. Touche. Girls gotta stick together. Yeah, I bet. There might not be context. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there there was a romantic entanglement. We were sticking oh. together. Oh, that's true. I stand I by I my statement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Urgala says, this all reminds me of a former adventuring companion, a wealthy name named Harthos Siverman. He had a great sword, a giant slayer, he called it. Is that a fake name? Sounds like a fake name. I don't know. He used he it white? as well. Was it white? Was he white? Sounds like a white name. No. <laughs> Siverman? <laughs> Siverman? That sounds like a fake name. That's an alias. Harthos Siverman. I know him well. Harthos. Yeah, the last time I spoke with him, he was living over in Siverman Hall. Oh, Oh. wow. Was wait, was that was that he has to say, was that his name? Or did he name himself after get named after that? How did that work? She laughs. She's like, no, no, no. That was his ancestral key. You can find it up on Robin Road, northwest of Silvery Moon. (laughs) Go ahead and uh, mark it on the map. Or we'll Sick names, bro. Silvery Sick moon. names. <laughs> yeah, Silvery Moon. Silvery Moon, located next to Orgrey Mar. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, 
Like fake names. That's a fake name. Okay, okay Weaver Anson. Okay, fake name. That's a fake name. Just so you know. See, my Regal. last name is Weatherby. So like, yeah. I don't know. Regal, Regal looks around. It's like, what are they doing to y'all at Fandolin? I've never <laughs> met a more skeptical. That, that's Fandanglin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Yeah, thank you, Arugula. I appreciate that. A giant slaying sword would be super helpful in this situation. Exactly. I think Carthos might be willing to part with that weapon if you mention my name and explain I will. the I reason will. for needing it. Make sure you get her name right. You're my we girl, were, Arugula. You're my girl. We were, we were great friends. We spend a lot of time on the road. A lot of time. So she doesn't correct anybody for calling her Arugula? She only hears her name properly. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just I didn't want to make sure it wasn't one of those things where you like you meet someone and they don't want to tell you that that's not their name, and then they you just keep calling them that, and then eventually it becomes a thing. You know. <laughs> that would be horrible. No, she she definitely just just hears her. Okay. North North steps in though as he's kind of overhearing all this. North. <laughs> <laughs> he says. Uh, Urgala uh, makes a great point. Y'all are from Fandolin, right? Fandanglin, yes. Mm -hmm. Fandanglin. Fandanglin, yeah. Yeah. I heard a few months ago the Lion Shield Coster. I'm sure y'all have been to it. Yes, we have. Yeah. Very racist. Yeah. What? What? Uh, Continue. No <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They receive payment from one Amrath Mulnabar. He is a That's fake name. Up. That's a fake name. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. Just, no, it's just, just no, it's just like fake names. It might be. Anyway, well, he's from No Owner's Hold. The payment was for five horse harnesses made, and Drago's like horse. It's just like horse, 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 horse. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes up. North North pauses for dramatic effect, and he's like, "Would you guess they asked for Tribor's finest harness harness maker to provide these? Who do you think that is? Somebody in another town." Oh. Kenzie doesn't hear you. He starts oh. pointing to himself. He's like, "I thought that that Othavir guy was the yeah. I thought that maker. was the, I thought that was the harness man. Yeah, like, who's Othavir?" The that guy, that's that like guy that's all the way, the top of town. all the way over there. That guy, this this guy back here. This guy. All right, so that guy died. <laughs> <North> <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, wait a second, no, it's not. <laughs> Taking credit. Taking credit for all the so work. So that dude got tra that, that that guy got trampled by giants, and North is now putting himself. Oh, okay. Mm. I see. I see. That tracks. He says, "Othervir, who?" As all as you question. Like that sounds like a fake name. Anyway, I need you to arrange for the delivery of the harnesses to no on our soul. I'm a bit worried that there's giants out there. I don't feel safe on the road. These are very precious. They cannot be lost. I've also never been to no on our soul, so I actually wouldn't even know how to get there. I know that it's somewhere near the high forest. You look good, Tina. Don't worry. It's just I like forest. He points at you. He's like, Thanks. perfect. So you agree to take these up there? Uh, yeah, just put um. them on Draco. <laughs> well, I have a, a crate ready to go. Cheesy, crazy. Sure. Um. What do we, wait? So we're gonna deliver these for you. Yes. That and that's it. Yes. And what do we get out of it? Yes. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh. I won't tell anybody that you murdered our dear Orthovir. We didn't. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hard pass on this one. Um, yeah. he wants to hard pass you, so not not according to his uh bio, his character bio. Just saying. What does his character bio say? It has nothing to do with me. What are you talking about? 
Mentions a young lady. Oh. He could be open. I'm just saying. Just Look at saying. that. That's yeah. not a one young lady man. Let's say it's a 2021. I don't know. It literally says, does anything to impress her? So that that where, where are you seeing this bio? Oh, it was shared with me. Because oh, yeah. I was uh, controlling the character. Yeah, so yes. We, we each got paired yes. up. With we'll, one of we'll do everything and anything to impress her. Is this a specific her? It is a specific her. What's her name? Doesn't say. Oriana. Oh, that's a fake name. That's a fake. It's a pretty name. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so, as everybody's having this nice oh. chat conversation, Galloran walks up. Oh, yeah, this. he's this guy. He's got a piece of. <laughs> The real character gallery. And he just says, Hey, hey, I got a letter, a recommendation here for whomever wants it. He's just shaking it around. Of what? Recommending it. for what? Gapo takes it. I took it. He says, Go ahead and present that to Keen Moore and her Queen Tithmel. They should go find him in the Citadel of Felbar. Tell him Gallery <laughs> and He walks away. Citadel of what? <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. My man just no, 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 leave. Citadel of Felbar. Citadel of Felbar. And he keeps going. Felbar. Felbar. So I, I open it and I read it. What does it say? So, Your Majesty. Your Grace. Delrin, right okay, wait, 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 wait. Are you reading this off something or are you making it up as you go? It's a hundred percent improv, right? He's making it up. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. All right. Gelrin writing from Tribor. I have defended the town from two fire giants. We got no warning. This town <laughs> is a mess. The Rathra headed to Fandolin and sought help from a group of adventurers, one obsessed with horses. A couple of rude, rude individuals. I am writing this letter anyway to let you know that they helped defend the city of Tribor. I did most of the work. I drove away the giant. <laughs> they cleaned up the rest. Please that. see that they get rewarded for their efforts. What is it written no. in? Like ink? Pencil? He used like coal, like like his forge he's a he's a blacksmith so he used that's what i was imagining yeah yeah, you're, you're, yeah we're changing that you change that go ahead you go ahead and rewrite <laughs> that say, real quick that? Just rewrite, <laughs> yeah, rewrite that gallery heads off back to his forge feeling really good about it sure he does shitty ass it's Smithy. like it's like Orin walking around going i slayed the dragon <laughs> i slayed it that's Put the right head. Friggin' dwarves, man. <laughs> so full of themselves. So everybody sort of kind of made their case, offered their help, not their help, but requested your help. All so right. What do y'all want to do now? It's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. <clears throat> long rest! Mm, yeah, long rest sounds like a good idea. I second that. So you want to sleep until 11 p.m. at night? <laughs> uh, um, can can we see the larger map of where these places are that we would be going? Because they're not on that small. Do map. do we know? Like, do we know where these places are? Like, do we or we have to gather uh, intel on like where we're going to be going? No, oh, you would you would know how to get there. You can. Uh, a couple of them gave you some tips on that let's move well, over here i was gonna so say because roll I, the map around well one would assume we don't want to go doing deliveries that we might run into giants without having a giant slaying sword um yeah. and then right. what was the other one so we're on that black dot right yeah by fandanglin by fandanglin all right so where are these other places all right so let's or, see at least general areas Right, so oh, I gotta zoom in. Sorry, sorry. Uh, up here, 
I don't know if okay. you can see me click it. Maybe yeah. I can just mark it. I'll say just mark it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You can dirty the map. Well, he already put this little butthole right there. That's true. The the X up this long road, long saddle road. Uh, that is the keep where supposedly the wanted dwarf is to be found. A ways away. There you go. Further up. Around this area here. You run into Mirabar. Dwarf. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that circle? So they're like on their way to each other? Mirabar right, is yeah. the in. <clears throat> yeah, so Mirabar is the, the town that's willing to, to pay that reward. Xantharl oh, Keep gotcha, gotcha, is gotcha, gotcha. where this individual was last seen. Uh, gotcha. Let me remember what else I told you. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Um, the, the There's the Silvery Moon. Right. That's right, Silvery Moon. Uh, let's see where that is. This map is pretty huge. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Just like put red circles out. Let's see. Let me see. Well, that's why we're marking it. I know. Oh, I take that off. There we go. I'm just testing out stuff because I never use any of this. How dare you! undo let's see oh okay so here's sorry not silvery but noirls nor okay. no hours hole there we go <laughs> what something about somebody's no, hole no no anar's hole ah no anar's hole <laughs> is in blue nice okay and that one is the so that is where you could deliver yeah. the harness. Where is Citadel, Citadel Felbar? Let's see. Hmm. Bruh. Who, who, who made that blue, that blue, whatever you want to call that? Is that a circle? Uh, that was me. I, hold on, hold on I a second. Job. Hold on a second. I got a circle. This guy. Let me... Can you move it? Never mind. I'll just move this over. I got it. I moved it. You can delete his after. I got it. I got it. BDSM dungeon. Got it. Got it. There you go. That's where we're delivering the harnesses. <laughs> See? Mikey said that guy gets around talking about North. You know. That's perfect for North, too. Sorry, my bad. Whoosh. All right, so the last couple ones. So we're looking at Silvery Moon, <laughs> Cit Citadel Felbar, and this Zimorvin Hall. So those will be right all in the same area. I'm going to mark them. Uh, Right here, right here, and somewhere around here. Okay, and which one's which? To the so the the two that are close to the road, uh, Simmervin Hall hmm. and Silvery Moon, and the one that's out further away is Citadel Felbar. So Hall, oops. This is the hall, Silvery Moon, Citadel. It was the hall where we get the giant sword, right? Uh, yeah, the hall is where the giant sword. And then... Uh... Citadel is where you go and turn in your letter of recommendation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it looks like we can also do the harnesses as we go around. Yeah. 
And then this one is the... Uh, that's silvery. That's, that's is that where we take the shield? Or, or are we just saying that the giant sword is near Silvery Moon? Uh, yeah, so it's near Silvery Moon. Yeah, yeah. So where where are we taking the shield? Our little badge thing. Our little badge thing. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about Dorothra. So she's actually sending y'all to Everlong. That is on the East Boar Trail. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's your profanity? What's your profanity? <laughs> Tina, your hair is getting so long. Oh, yeah. I haven't gotten a cut in a really long time. I need to cut it. It's really shiny, though. Mm, thanks. I try not to wash it every day, but it gets really gross and greasy. Excellent. But that's why probably why it's shiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everlund is in that orange that little orange. area. Okay. Look, 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 what, what, wait, what's here? Everlund. That's the place we have to go? Yeah. Yeah, that's where Dorothra is asking you to deliver the badge. All right, hold on. We could put another shape. FBI, perfect. All right, cool. This is this is great. I'm gonna have a great time remembering what all these. Mean. What? That's very clear. It actually, it really <laughs> is actually. <laughs> it's better than actually just putting the names of the places. You're right. It really is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark. Tribor. Not triboard. Tribor. 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 And and dang. dangling there you go it's, it's official Bam. all those things there we go that's all right, beautiful. So that was a good recon all right yes everybody's marking the map it's having a good time so it's about 4 30 now you've spent a good hour and a half chilling talking mm -hmm. what do you what do you all want to do you have this new wolf halfling person around to know her let's sit and I, have I, a drink i was gonna say i assume we're, we're going over yeah. to okay, we're gonna go over to a, a bar or an eatery we have an eatery around uh, hey lady do we have an eatery they, everybody kind of looks at you like a lot of the buildings are burned a lot of the buildings are just... <laughs> it's like an avengers oh. where the they're just like the huh? shawarma you guys want to try some shawarma right. Shwarma. Let's go get shawarmas. What is this? There's a bar classic, somewhere here. Classic tribor. Uh, Hospitality. Bear. What? What um, do we eat in tribor? Can I? Can I cast a spell though? If you Whatever want. You want. Okay. I want to cast alarm because I'm. I'm. I want to know if the giants are going to come back at any point. So. While we're resting and while we're waiting. Okay. What is what are the specifics of that? Um. Okay. How do I how do I put it in the thingy? Oh, uh, you'd have to if you got the little plugin. I don't know if you got the uh, beyond. I have to. Uh, so many things. Okay. Well, anyway. Tell us what it is. Yeah, you can just tell what okay. it is. So, um. I can set an alarm against unwanted intrusion. I choose a door, a window, or an area within range that is no longer than um, no larger than a twenty foot cube. And until the spell ends, an alarm alerts you whenever a tiny or larger creature touches or enters the warded area. When you cast a spell, you can designate creatures that won't set off the alarm, uh, and you can choose whether the alarm is mental or audible. Hmm. Okay. So I wanted to. 
set like a little alarm somewhere and just for I guess giants, but it won't get set off if any of the townspeople like go by it. Okay. Um where did you want to set? Uh well where are we where is this bar? Where are we going? Uh so it's a little makeshift bar here in the middle of town because everything's destroyed. The people, the citizens that survived are all gathering <laughs> Bringing out the best <laughs> bourbon. Okay, so I want to do it like I guess. Is there a door there, or maybe I'll do it on the ground that's like around it. Yeah, so there's like these roads that sort of lead out of town. You can kind of make it somewhere here. I mean, there's the campsite that's completely dug up right now. Yeah, so I'll do I'll do one of the like uh, the little area close to that. Uh, on the butthole. On the yeah. <laughs> butthole. <laughs> yeah. So okay. I'll probably, I end up regretting this feature, but if you look at your little toolbar on the left, the little paintbrush, you hover <laughs> over it, you should be able to draw shapes. So if you want to find, like you can mark the shape. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to put it, I saw them over here, so I'm actually going to put them over here. That little... This little oh, guy. Orange one. Okay. Oh, and I made another one in it. So okay. that's, if you go back to that. the arrow, you can actually click on it and like delete it. Uh, yeah, you just press you click on it, press your delete. Uh, uh. Took me a real long time to figure that out. <laughs> oh nope. Update. It exists as one thing apparently. Oh, okay. That's whatever. It, it is what it is. Okay, yeah. cool. Alright. Let the ale flow. All right, well then. Orin's having a good time. The ale's flowing. Um, so, what are you all like doing? Like, what's what's going on? It's it's like <laughs> apparently we was already pitching a new tent. That is no, it's that my is tent. Not <laughs> pick it out. <laughs> yeah, right, Yepo's like, no, nah, that's my tent. Oh, Yepo was drawing the tent. <laughs> oh, Leva. She was drawing okay, a tent when I moved. Weaver, get out of her tent. You had to be was, on the side. I was <laughs> literally, I was literally the here when she started drawing it. Orin no. runs in. There's room for all of us. Oh, we're just, <laughs> <laughs> we're in the third tent. That's right. She's like, guys, this isn't what I wanted. Um, so, Party in the tent. <laughs> so I, I do, we like build up. Some mugs, we refilled orange to go kegs, and we're just hanging out, you know, resting <laughs> and you know, talking to our friends here. Gonna, and then we'll, we'll spend the night. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. Well, uh, what are y'all, what are y'all talking about? I'm curious. We're, we're trying to hear her life story. Yeah, this one here. She needs to come over to the yeah, campfire. Yeah, yeah, we're over here, chilling. Okay. Um, it's okay to say no. Chilling with us. Too. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll be like, hey, what's up? I have to look down. Hey, what's up? <laughs> like, so, uh, so you know, what brings you to Tribor? Um, well, I was just sort of traveling with Copper. We were just going around, trying to learn as much as we can when I passed by those giants. Just, like, learn, like, about the world? Yeah. Oh, just that's cool. See it. See Is your gap year? <laughs> I'm 45. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you age very well. <laughs> I mean, for a halfling, it's probably like my age currently. So just just see how they're well. Uh, Galarin is standing over here, like just kind of like not engaged and involved, but also not not engaged and involved. <laughs> so he's just doing the classic like edge of the room creeper move, where he's just like, "I'm too good." For that part. <laughs> and like Orin's over here just talking shit about him. Like He's pretending to work on this fence. It's taking him a real long time to fix enough. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, mm. well, I guess I better go talk to them. I'm going to need some supply. 
Uh, so where are you from? Um, Wisconsin. well, <laughs> I'm from a far away land, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, that's cool. Me too. Hey, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, can't go back Draco there. So Draco asks if you have a horse. I don't. I'm sorry. Can you I only get have horse? copper. Um, I guess if we find one, I could talk to him for you. I'm supposed to have a horse. You don't have a horse, and you <laughs> never had one. It was Draco. my horse. What happened to it? My horse. Oh, I just, I left it in Fandanglin. Mm -hmm. It would have a better life there. Because otherwise, Draco would try to ride it all the time. I don't know. <laughs> it might get inappropriate. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not okay with bestiality. Like, <laughs> Orin looks confused. Doesn't have one. Oh, Orin, it's when you have inappropriate feelings for horses, not when you have good, lovey feelings. Uh. Yeah. So, how do you guys all know each other? Uh, well, I ran into Weva at this Butter School Ranch, where we ended up getting overrun by orcs, and we killed a bunch of them, but there were too many, and we ended up getting stuck in this, like, closet thing, and then these guys, being Oren and Yepo, found us. And they had another one with them, but he's dead. I, I pour, I pour one out. I pour one out for uh, for Parker. For Parker. Pour one out oh. for Parker. And uh, yeah, we ended up clearing out the ranch together, and we've just been traveling with them since. I don't know cool. about Draco. He just showed That's up true. one day. <laughs> That's true. We found him in a bathtub that was filled with um, skulls and bones and things. That's hell weird. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Joby that's wasn't there. <laughs> I wasn't there. I was all flying around like as a bird. Yeah. It was, Natalie for it was shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're just jamming out. I don't know I'm home I don't know what my soul needs. Anyway. Draco in a bathtub full of skull. <laughs> is that really what happened? Where were you guys? Oh, actually, yeah, they were in a keep and they were exploring. Draco had found himself overwhelmed, typical. Yeah. And so he hid in a bathtub <laughs> full of corpses. To there were zombies. To there were zombies. Yeah, zombies just to try to kind of like blend in. Party. <laughs> He's a fucking salamander. So the party <laughs> came over. Salamander in a yeah, and the party found him. <laughs> pretty much saved him, and then Parker died. R.I.P. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I just wanna, I just wanna ask. Um, <clears throat> there's a massive hole in your campsite. Uh, it's over here. We're camping here. Right, right. In the in the actual official campsite. Yeah. Not in the makeshift refugee camp, but <laughs> oh, that's a pretty rough makeshift. I just want to, I just want to point that out. Yeah. So there's, there's a I whole. I deleted my token. Can you bring me back? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, I would like to go investigate this hole. And around it because i really have a lot of questions can i investigate okay. the hole yeah i'm sure, interested yeah. i mean i'm not a proctologist but if you see some things to kill let me know yes yeah, so you guys are, are investigating the hole is about let's say like eight feet deep it isn't that big maybe like eight deep four across so, so Weva, you can stand in this and Oren can lay across your head and you guys will completely fill the hole. 
He's unamused. Pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, continue. It's uh, yeah, Weaver so. by Orin and Jake. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is that is what y'all are seeing. You see this kind of hole, uh, and it's not as deep as you might have thought. It's not as wide or big as you might have thought. Can we see anything in it? Uh, it doesn't. Nothing stands out. It it like literally just looks like someone's been digging. You see earth, you know, typical some maybe root endings, some of that cool sub earth clay. I don't know what it's called. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come back. Can over copper? Here. Oh, sorry. Oh no, go ahead. I was gonna say, can copper dig? Can he dig? She. She, sorry, can she dig? <laughs> yeah, I I mean she's a wolf, can't she? Yeah, sure. You can make her dig. Okay. So Do I'm it. going back over to Dorothra to ask her if she knows anything about why the giants would be digging in her town. Yeah. So uh, let me resolve the digging. Are you going to yeah. instruct Copper to dig? Yes. OK, so Copper starts digging, and she just sort of kind of like digs at a normal wolf pace. And Dorotha is pretty confused by your question. She says, what do you mean? And you kind of point to the hole. And she's like, oh, right. Yeah, I have no, I have no idea why they would be doing that. Like. It's not like we have a underground mine. This isn't a dwarven town. Galrin looks over his shoulder. I'm going to say, go look at Galrin. <laughs> it sure is. It. She's like, yeah. That's, I, that, that's um, why you were so quick to drive them off, Galrin. What did you bury? <laughs> yeah, Del Delrotha seems completely confused by it. She's like, I have no idea why they would be digging in our campsite. Like, this seems completely bizarre. And yet very specific. I agree. Um, Arugula, did you like did they say anything that gave you any clues? They were so mad. They didn't think there would be any resistance in this town. Sorry. I don't know why. I'm it's assuming like... that this is what's been happening in the other places where the refugees are coming from. And so I'm like this is me talking to them. So I'm wondering if like, if we went back to these farms that people have been driven off of, if we're just going to find burned buildings and holes. Like, has anyone reported what they actually saw the giants doing in their land? Dorothy's was like, no, I don't. Uh, Rogala, you've had the most contact. She's like, no, actually, everybody sort of flees as soon as they see them. They are very destructive. Nobody's stuck around to witness what happened. How convenient. Do you wonder, though? That is a great question. Um. So, do we know, like, on the map, like, what area people have been fleeing from? Not specifically. Uh, you've sort of just sort of, like, the, the Tribor has sort of taken in refugees from all over. You can tell it's from the south but they don't know specifically from where oh yeah no just south is good to know mm -hmm. okay Can, if i went over to the inn would i be able to talk to the refugees probably do you want me to or is that too much you can you can go talk to them whenever you want <laughs> uh, is there something i could do to see if copper finds anything uh, Copper's been digging, and she doesn't necessarily find anything. Um, she can't really, like, dig at a very fast rate. So, like, the hole that the giants dug eight feet deep, that was extremely quick since they're giants and they're using their swords. From what you can tell, Copper's digging, but it's it almost looks like Copper's just digging up dirt. Because you, you you're, like, looking down, and you're like, uh, I'm not really making progress. I call, can I call Oren over and be like, hey, Oren, come check out the dirt. I know you like dirt. Oren is immediately over there because he's like, <laughs> he's like digging yeah. like the copper. He's yeah, like, like ah! Oren, what's up with this dirt? Like, I know you have like weird relationship with dirt. What's, what's going as on? As soon with as he dirt? looks, he looks in the no. hole and he freaks out. It's like a kid in the candy shop. He's like, there's dirt and there's a wolf. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gotcha. So he's very excited. Uh, he doesn't necessarily give you any information. He's just like, I love dirt. I love wool. He's just rolling around with the dogs. He actually starts pouring a little bit of ale in the in the hole. I don't know why. He's just like, like I'm going to grow a beer tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> beer tree. All right. Um, I'm going to ask Arugula. Can we, can we, do you think we go talk to some of the refugees and see if we can get some information? Sure, dear. Let's go. I don't know why I just made that voice. He was like, old southern black woman? Old southern black I woman? Child, let's go. Yeah. Go talk to some refugees. Uh, honey, child. Honey, child. Yeah. Lord Jesus, help me. Jesus, Ooh. Jesus. Not that I need to defend myself, but I am from Texas, so. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining Weaver's grandma. <laughs> No, I'm imagining this one woman in, what was it, Tina, Louisiana, Lafayette. Yeah, there are a lot she's of, like, oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. She I know. threatened to rip my lip piercings out because I was part of the devil-worshipping cult. Well, <laughs> stop worshipping the devil. I know. <laughs> you are playing Dungeons & Dragons. That is true. <laughs> I'm now just reinforcing that stereotype of devil worship. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. there you go. You know what's funny is that my parents were totally, or my mom really, really, who was totally part of that. Like Dungeons and Dragons is evil. It's of the devil. And so now we're trying to get a uh, like a family D and D campaign going, and my dad's gonna play, and I'm like, ha -ha, devil worship. That's so good. Oh, it's gonna be great. All right, so Arugula. Yeah, so you're you're at the end. Yeah. So we ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, so, to talk to. Yeah, there's a couple of refugees just sort of like sitting around. They look tired. They're like, this is the danger gone. Those giants are relentless. Like, yes, the giants are gone. We drove them off. There's some damage and some burnt buildings, but you are safe, at least for the time being. Um, but can I ask you some questions about your home that you left? Yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure you fled as soon as you saw the giants, but could you tell me about that? Like, um, <laughs> sorry, just saw Mikey's comment. Um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like were there orcs with them that time and like fire imps? Like what, what was it like? Or did you just see the giants? There's a sort of like a, a child I would maybe a child from the back he's like I, I I saw the giants they were mean they were digging holes is he 75 Five. years old I'm, 75 to... year old child. <laughs> I'm a 75 year old there child giants and they were digging where's okay, my skateboard <laughs> So the 75-year-old man in the back of the fucking hotel. <laughs> I saw them dig him down by the stable. <laughs> what funny is my dad is 75. He did not sound like what? that. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, right? He looks exactly the same as he did at SciTech, too. Like, he aged incredibly when he hit 40 and then just stopped. Just stopped? That's a good, that's a good gamble. Yeah. It's like Asian aging. Just like hit that birthday one year and age like twenty years, and then you don't age again for another twenty. Come on, you know Asian don't raise it. Asian don't raise it. Come on, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> old man. <Yeah. laughs> so you saw <laughs> old man. <laughs> as, he, as you scare him and he tries to run away, <laughs> don't shit yourself. Come back. <laughs> This mature individual in the back of the hotel. <laughs> Good is, sir. Is, 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 yes, I did see the giants digging over by the bar. And so they just dug one hole? Did you see, like, do you have any clue as to what they were digging for? Why they would dig on your land? I have no idea. We took off. We just barely escaped with our lives. Was Were they alone? No. There's a whole horde of them. Horde of giants, or did they no. have like they, they had 
tiny little fire creatures and beasts that were carrying vicious, it looks, around orcs. It's okay. You can say it. Orcs? Yeah. Orcs with weapons. Okay. Well, I'm glad you got out safely. Why did why did he pause? What was the pause? Like he couldn't say the word orcs? He just paused to make sure that the uh, present company wouldn't be a humanoid of orc descent. Every time, bro. Same thing in Fandangling. Every time. That's true. I am a fucking racist. I'm like, all right, well, um, thank you, good sir. Brian. My name's Brian. Brian, it was a pleasure to meet you. Enjoy your evening. That, Thank that's, you. That's the most normal name ever. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite okay. modern. Didn't we kill some orcs named Brian. Eve? Uh, yeah, yes. I, I tend to go with very basic names. I should probably not do that. Why? It's great. Soon we'll encounter Timothy. <laughs> um, so, okay, so now I'm, I'm, I'm coming back over here. Mm-hmm. So I missed all that. I was just hanging out. Yeah. So I'm going to come <clears throat> talk to you guys. Uh, so I just talked to Brian. Do you want, do you want to call over the half lane? Oh, there you go. She's coming. Okay. Oh, what's up, lady? All right. So um, I just talked to Brian. He's a sprightly 75-year-old. And they had a very similar experience at their farm. Like a horde of orcs and fire imps came and a couple giants just started digging on their land. And that was it. And it and they it. ran them out, burned shit, and they were just digging. They don't know what they were digging for. And Same it. thing and happened. I nudge, I nudge North and I go. She said they came on the land. Nice. <laughs> nice. He laughs and he's like, oh, that reminds me. You want to help me get another barrel of ale out here <laughs> no you do nobody. nobody okay <laughs> Galarin, come help me <laughs> <laughs> yeah Galarin, to you it's a giant barrel <laughs> slay it <laughs> oh my I've God. lost track of in character and out of character comments <laughs> Just um, you just track the voice. You just track the voice. That's it. <laughs> just gotta track the voice. Well, I, I would assume that they were digging for something, but Copper couldn't find anything. Yeah, um, Copper didn't make much progress. She's just well, she was digging hard, but it, it was a deep hole. And there was nothing that came up. Hmm. Hmm. Oren, you didn't find anything either, or were you overcome by the dirt? <laughs> Or it just nods. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dirt. Your grace. Dirt. I love dirt. Your grace. Your grace. Your grace. There's so much dirt. <laughs> so what time That's is it, it now? Uh, it's like six o'clock. Six o'clock or so. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, um, oh, go ahead. Hmm. Are there, I know that you said that the town is basically in bad shape and everything's burnt um but are there any like shops that are selling stuff nothing's open at the moment everybody's sort of like either rebuilding um like the when the giants came into town they were like throwing boulders around i don't know if you recall so they're just a lot of the buildings are damaged uh anybody that has a home that is 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 just like survived and isn't damaged is pretty much out helping rebuild the other parts of town. Oh, hmm. that's nice. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, I was going to say, North could probably get you some stuff you're looking for. Get your Johnny on the spot. Um, I was just trying to figure out if there are like places that sell potions, health potions, mm-hmm. and things that will help us along the journey. For tomorrow. Nard, uh, he, Nard nods and he's like, no. <laughs> right. 
So, but I can get you almost anything else. No, anything good, but helpful things. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Thanks, Nari. So I just, I just like go in my tent, and I'm getting ready to go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go in the tent with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I just crawl in. I'm like. You crawl in and I zip it. Oh, well, they don't have zippers back then. I'm like, um, sure, you just yeah, 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 clasp. You, you, you clasp. I clasp oh, okay. the sides shut. Hey, Apple. <laughs> hey. Hey. This is a nice tent. Yeah, thanks. I made it. Can I sleep here? Yeah, man. Absolutely. Don't let anybody else in. Well, yeah. actually, Copper and Peony are welcome. Ooh. You go check the, the sleeping bag and Rebecca's in <laughs> We're not in the town. Oh. <laughs> we, we wouldn't be in the tent. We'd be wrecking Gelrin's smithery. Yeah. Well, Copper comes in and she curls up into a little ball and then I just plop oh. right on top of her. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, it's all cozy. We all fit perfectly. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah so i guess we'll just long rest spend the night well <laughs> i do want to just make a small comment do it. it is daylight savings time in the land of Faerun, so it is 6 p.m the sun is still out mm -hmm. okay just that isn't exciting potentially it's kind of a, like a west coast sun so you're still like it's actually still really sunny. What time does the sun set? Like seven thirty right now. Okay. Well, then I'm just like braiding Yepo's hair right now. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and I'm reading my oh. Bible. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. I'm gonna no, go. It's not weird. It's very <laughs> I'm gonna go fishing. There's a pond over <laughs> he's here. Gonna, he's gonna go fishing. There's a pond over oh. here. I'm going fishing. There's fishing. There's no fishing mini like game. Fun. Don't get any idea. I'm Roll for the fish. I'm just like gonna use one of my like javelins and yeah, just he's... just stabbing into the pond for fish. That's it. Just and so as as <laughs> as we was fishing and we're and like we're just having girl time in the tent. I look over to Peony and um. Jovi and I asked them like so what do you guys think is going on in the hole like with this hole in the sticking business and these giants I feel like Drake think... would be right outside the tent like <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> like, you know who you know who that reminds me of and I've been thinking about it the whole time is uh <laughs> what the hell's his name from Monsters Inc the oh, the, oh, the chameleon yeah. the chameleon Randall guy. Randall <laughs> yep that's exactly who that looks like like every time I'm looking at that picture, I'm like, it's totally Randall. Oh, it does look like Randall a little bit. You hear oh, whispers. Does anybody have a horse? <laughs> God damn it, Draco, go away. <laughs> well, I personally think they're looking for something. No one yeah. just digs for nothing. I don't know what they're looking for. And like, why are they going to farmland to do it? <laughs> yeah. And you know, what's up with uh, old man? What's his name? Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> he's like Gilbert. climbing on the... Yeah, that guy. Um, he's like climbing on the giants as if he owns them. And now he's all being suspicious and whatnot. That's and... a fish. Oh, I think he's just creepy, actually. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I think he's just like a creepy dude. And that he's really pissed off because Orin pointed out how bad of a blacksmith he is mm. Mm, that's possible yeah i think i saw him cry so Aww. well a, okay. a bit of uh out of character information that i, I believe Orin did share uh gelrin while he has a good heart he absolutely hates orcs and giants so he's not real happy to be around a half orc <sighs> Yeah, I wouldn't call him a happy person. He might have been working on that fence for too many hours. That's cool. His health bar is low. He'll go soon. <laughs> Good observation. Uh, yeah, and you want to know why it's low? 
<laughs> Why? Uh -huh. Friendly fire. Yeah. <laughs> Got my goddamn salamander hits all of us with lightning every time. Oh, that's a miss. Just fishing away, fishing away. Fifteen yeah. or higher. Fifteen or higher. Nah, that's good. So yeah. I don't know. I like I'm hoping the thing is though, here's the thing, is that all this stuff that they want us to go do is in the north, right? But mm -hmm. the giants are coming from the south. I still mm. I still think it's good for us to go north, especially to get the giant slayer sword, because it seems like a good idea to have if we're gonna fight giants, but like I really want to go see where the giants have been and see if we can figure out what it is like if there's a pattern, like what are they looking for? And because I, I mean, I would assume that they'll stop when they find it, but what the fuck are they looking for? Yeah. And <coughs> okay, so that that dwarf guy that that we're we're supposed to go get, right? Is yeah. he at all connected with the giants at all? No, not really, huh? Is, is that a, are you asking me or? Well, I was asking um, Jovi, but I mean, oh, if you okay. have answers, cool. <laughs> is he? Is he connected in any way? Do we even know if he's actually a criminal? Right. I'm a criminal. Some great criminal. questions. Perhaps it's worth finding out. Mm. Okay. Do you think they'd have a wanted poster in the place where, where you would go to get the giant's sword? That seems reasonable. It's uh, kind of not mm -hmm. a long way, but it's close enough to the vicinity. I figured they might have postered up some places. Yeah, I think they would have a wanted poster. You might find okay. something along the way. No fish for you! No, no, no. Okay, I'll come back with my two fish. Okay. <laughs> mm. So, can we go back to the, the larger map? Pretend I'm gonna we're, cook we're these bad boys up. Looking at the map. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yeah. That was Archer. So we're here. So it looks like maybe it would make the most sense to go this way up here. Yeah, so that way we'll just drop these off on the way and then we'll go ask for reinforcements and then we can get the giant sword, drop off that horribly written letter and then circle back around to catch the dwarf if we find any information on him. It's good to me. Cool. So yeah, when we set out awesome. tomorrow, we'll head out east. Sweet. Mm hmm And we'll just tell the boys and they'll do what we say. They yeah, absolutely sounds good. Well, I'm assuming the little one will come along because uh he's he in likes love my with wolf. copper. So use that to your advantage. <laughs> no, Orin Orin is has a heart of gold. Let's say wait wait till he <laughs> wait wait till he gets back and he's actually playing his own character. And yeah. Watch I'm, how much I'm, in love with the wolf his character will actually I'm be. Downplaying the wolf love. <laughs> it's not inappropriate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm also downplaying Draco because nobody can do Draco. Actually. He makes me laugh every time because you know when he wants to say something funny and he's waiting. He's waiting to get in, and and it's like. <laughs> The hush falls across the crowd, and he's like, ha ah, that was hilarious. You're like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so uh, yes, you you long rest. So uh, everybody make sure you long rest for the next time. Yes. We're going to long rest. Okay, and I'm going to eat Good. the fish that I caught. Good spot yeah. to start back up with them that's, next week. That's awesome. Yeah. And just to just so I'm I'm clear, uh, you're going to the BDSM dungeon first. Yes, sir. All right. Oh yeah, we are. So we'll, we'll head out there. Take a look around. 
Oh, see, do you like that? How I gave you a clue as to what we're doing? Thanks. It helps. I can be a little bit more prepared. <clears throat> yeah. He's lying. I'll I'll still try to be extremely cautious of the suspicion. <laughs> Are you sure you're gonna trust the road? Is this really your name? Right. <laughs> Bro, when Does it sounds it like a fake name, when it sounds like a fake name, all fake names. Nah, nah, nah. There's some names it's that you're a just like role playing. Game. You're like, there's no way. There's no way that's a name. Silvery okay. Moon. Come on, come on, come on. You've played well. I. That's my point. That's my point. That's not a real place. He's just like, ah, what's close? Oh yeah, I just, I just got into that place. Uh, with the new expansion. That, that's the one. Let's throw the that cool out there. Draco named it. Oh, that guy. It's like, oh, oh, the moon's, the moon's really like silvery here. It's silvery. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, it's it's called, silvery I'm going to call it Silvery Moon. Silvery. silvery Moon. Like Falcon's Lodge. Like, come on. Come on. All fake names, even Brian. Fake. Fake. Falchion. Yeah, see? Brian. That name is fake. Brian. It's a fake yeah, name. I have, I have to share with you right now. So I don't mean anybody. We have a couple people on Weba's Twitch, but one of them is a guy I went to school with when I was in middle school. He was in high school. But I was in middle school. Holy fake, see? In the valley at, like, this really tiny, shitty private school in Harlingen. That's wild. Yeah. So, let's see. I have no Mikey for... So, it wasn't Brian, okay. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, fuck. I've known him for at least 21 years. I've known him since at least 2000. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Yeah. 2000 was 21 years he did, ago. He did yes, say 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Because I graduated from HCS in 01. So, yeah, I had to have known him at least by 2000. There you go. 21. Year- that means that children born in the year 2000 are turning 21 this year. That means that. Damn. I thought I'd have a lot more figured out by now. <laughs> no, I, I am. I think you have things figured out pretty well. You're you're adulting pretty well. Damn, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Thank you, are. Think Tina is. Think we all know, are. Everybody Eva is. Pretends to. I don't really know what Mar does other than play <laughs> video games. <laughs> I cry myself to sleep at night. It works. That's I mean, I'm in mean, grad school. Think. That counts, right? Oh, I didn't know you were in grad school. What are you going to grad school oh, for? Oh, yeah. I'm performing arts administration. Nice. So I want to, like, I want to go into the development. So I want to work for nonprofits and, and help with, like, donations and get donors and do that stuff. We can work together. Okay. I do. I mean, I'm a UX writer now. So. You know, Make it <laughs> yeah. Ash said that grad school is real world avoidance. Yeah. Maybe a tenth grade. Yep. There you go. I mean, honestly, it's kind of bad that I had to do all my classes online, but it's also kind of good that I was doing something during COVID. You know, for sure. Absolutely. Which is like, I hate this class. This is a terrible <laughs> class. I don't want to. This guy is a terrible person. Oops, that wasn't me. And, and then I'm like, Ellie's not so bad. Relax. <laughs> Ellie. I think it's uh, fine. There you go. All right, guys. Well, GG, thank you guys so much for the game. It was yeah. fun. I'm, I'm glad that we all survived. Yeah. Yes. You, you were surprised? We were I wasn't surprised. I wasn't we surprised. We were promised by the DM that no one would die in that fight. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. You from us. Hey, you shouldn't yeah. die unless you do something stupid. It's fine. Right. Welcome to the to the, to the game here, Yoni. So excited to have you. Yes, indeed. Glad you're Thank here. You. Yay. There you go. Now when next week when everybody's here, hopefully we'll I'm I'm very excited. When when the boys are back in town? I don't know about that. I don't know. Boys are back in town. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I can actually see them rolling up to that song. Probably <laughs> and, as they, they close in the car all door. Seriousness. No, as they get off the horse. <laughs> he's falling, he's like in slow motion. 
I'm so excited for um, them to actually get on Discord and see. To all of see everything. <laughs> and to see the fucking drawing. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, 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 I will say that we have a full party. The encounters will continue to be deadly. So just keep that in mind. I don't want to die. He's stupid. No, you don't. I'm, I am not trying to kill anybody. The encounters are deadly. But I'm just telling you, I don't want to die. I'll try not to kill you. Thank you. <laughs> and luckily, Tina has like really good healing. So. Yeah, absolutely. Those are freaking awesome heals, by the way. Yeah. Well, I, I only get three of them with like in the same slot with a lot of my other really right you yeah, only have three spell spells, slots right so yeah on for, for specifically that yeah i've yeah, been well, wondering okay. about draco yeah. spell yeah. slots because he feels like he just <laughs> he just pulls him out of his ass he's like uh <laughs> spell slots to burn he's like that's level three um i throw medic orb. can i uh um, can, I, can, I, can, I, can um, I throw a lightning, yeah. lightning bolt that's lightning bolt that's uh 36 um, damage 36 damage uh, uh medic orb. that's 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 DC uh fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, I'm, yeah, so, I'm, 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 I'm not saying I'm gonna bring the book out, but I might bring the book out. It was a, it, look, I learned something and it was amazing to me that when he had to he goes, All right, so um she's gonna hit with her sword. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, You gonna roll? And he's like, Oh, I gotta roll for that? Um, let me see. Uh and I'm like, Yeah, fun, not playing a caster, right? When it's on the onus is on you to actually hit, and you're not like yeah. save yourself. Go ahead, and save yourself. He's just like lightning bolt. Okay, does it hit? All right, it hit. Okay, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't dodge lightning it. Bolt. Lightning yeah, bolt. lightning just throwing out stuff and just going. Ah, I don't have to roll anything. Like that my was, man. That was the, I like really I gotta, was like, <laughs> uh, she she hits twice with her sword. No more. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> like, are we gonna? Like, are you gonna try? Like my man, I gotta like, roll like, six times to get a hit. What do I roll? Man, that I was the mean, worst. He, he he doesn't have to roll to hit. What well, he throws spells? Well, spells? Some some of the spells. Saving throws. Yeah, so like um anything that uses up a spell slot, he doesn't even have to roll for it. It just there's a DC on it and that's it. Right. So he just he he uses a spell slot and you have to save against it, yeah. usually for half damage. So he's just accustomed to hitting for any amount regardless. Yeah, so he doesn't he doesn't ever have to roll to hit. And like, bro, there's a reason I roll with advantage. And <laughs> like so and I get hit so much. Like there's trade offs on that. Like, come on. Melee, bro. Melee. And, and I need blasts and like all these buffs so I can land. And like, come on. Tina would be dead without I'm you. you. I would miss a lot of attacks, yeah. I'd miss a lot of attacks. We need those to hit. Yeah, but do you like the the sweet tossing of the, the potion and <laughs> that was a, that was a the, the twenty the twenty oh uh, yeah that was like so, yeah. yeah that was good that was that pretty was good. good all right, right y'all I gotta head out same take that Bye. all right see you guys next week yeah Bye. Bye. I'm going to league I'll see y'all later you need to you need to show my drawing on. On the stream, um, you could drop it in the chat as a link. Can from, I? Yeah, from Discord, you can right click on it. Oh. And do it. Um, it might hold on. Yeah, because yeah, you should have permission because you're a mod. Because so. okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, guys, I'm gonna switch over and go to League of Legends. Uh, we're gonna end the stream here so that I can cut this for YouTube and it'll be up after the other ones sequentially go and do their thing. So, uh, we will see you guys for that or um tomorrow for League and then. If you're only here for D&D, every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, take care and have a great one. And you can check the chat for the, you know, drawing and such. Peace.